in the headlines. Various units of Kansas City reviewed their performances in the first half of 2022. The signing of the strategic cooperation agreement between Vietnam Cable Television and the radio and television stations of Cần Thơ, Hậu Giang, Đồng Tháp and Bình Dương. The debut of the third season of the Seven Men Football Championship for Sài Gòn Beer Cup 2022 in the Western region. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Cantin News and Top News today. In the first half of 2022, the political system of Kerang Upper District recorded many active results. Social economy continued its stable growth in which many targets were obtained and surpassed. The information was revealed at the open conference of the Executive Board of Kerang Upper District Party Committee to reveal the implementation of tasks in the first six months of this year. Notably, the district completed nearly 83% of the party ambition target. The inspection and supervision tasks were seriously carried out. There were many active changes in operations of the mass mobilization system, fatherland front, and collaborations and people's life. The business situation showed good signals. The trade service production value increased by over 18% against the same period. Industry construction production value increased by more than 6% and budgetary collection stood at over 73% of land. In the last months of the year, Kerang Upper District focused on speeding up building the political system, recovering, developing the economy, concerning administrative reform and business improvement, strengthening the measures of controlling natural disasters, and upholding the political security social safety order in the area. In the first six months of the year, Kansas City's Assistance Association for Poor Patients and its subordinated units publicized many humanitarian programs at the total value of more than 20,580,000,000 million Vietnam dong. A trusting at a meeting convened on July 13th morning, Vice Chairman Nguyen Tuc King highly valued the humanitarian activities taken by the association in the past time while hoping the association to continue giving support for localities to take care of needy people, thereby helping eradicate hunger and eliminate poverty in a sustainable manner. From the early year to now, the association funded support for humanitarian programs. Typically, the program bringing back light for poor visually deformed people, presenting wheelchairs for disabled people, conducting heart surgeries for poor children, giving free tech caps and medicines. The association accelerated the implementation of humanitarian programs, combining with Kansas City's radio and television station to help particularly difficult people via the program of sympathizing and sharing. In the past six months, the movement entitled Our Aid Right Disabled went into debt and could promote the roles of the elderly in carrying out local political tasks. Notably, the Association of the Elderly admitted 1,630 members, bringing the total number of members to 110,875, making up nearly 91% of the total number of the elderly. Care for the elderly on holidays and bed was concerned. Examples were the organization of visits, gift presentation, and longevity congratulation for thousands of the elderly at the value of billions of Vietnam dong. Besides, association members actively participated in the pandemic control, army recruitment, new style rural construction, urban area construction, fire explosion control, traffic safety, etc. Specifically, the association mobilized support sources to build and repair 32 houses for poor members at a total sum of more than 920 million Vietnam dong, built 35 new bridges at a combined value of nearly 160 million Vietnam dong, upgraded 2,700 kilometers of traffic roads, and planted 12,000 green trees at various skies. Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Nguyễn Ngọc Hè has presided over a meeting to share opinions on the campaign level new style rural criteria of Kansas City in 2021-2025 phase. In March 2022, the government released the decision enacting the national criteria on new style rural campaigns and advanced new style rural campaigns in 2021-2025 phase, abbreviated as the campaign level new style rural criteria in 2021-2025 phase. 
Accordingly, Gunter's study solicited opinions from departments and centers for the criteria that are suitable for the geographical location and real local situation. These criteria are required to be not lower than the national criteria, but higher than the common criteria of Mekondenta region. At a meeting held by the Supervisory Council of Canter Lottery Ticket Company on July 13 morning, company leaders said that in the first six months of 2022, the unit got a consumption revenue of 2 trillion billion Vietnam dong, representing over 54% and increasing by nearly 5% against the same period of 2022. Notably, in June alone, the company hit a net revenue of 99.82%. The company spent over 49% of its revenue on offering prices. From then, it got a pre-tax profit of 341 billion 700 million Vietnam dong, representing nearly 65%, and contributing 783 billion Vietnam dong to the state budget, 7 billion 200 million Vietnam dong to social security. From now to the end of the year, Cantor Lottery Ticket Company strives to get the whole year's revenue of over 5 trillion 600 million Vietnam dong and contributes 1 trillion 685 billion to the state budget. Vice Chairman Nguyễn Văn Hồng, come chairman of the Supervisory Council, suggested the company pay attention to developing markets, complete the year's plan, boost the technological application to controlling fake lottery tickets, especially device solutions to effectively exploit its flaw. Also on July 13, Kansas City's Information and Communication Department organized the conference to reveal tasks in the first half and seek solutions for the second half of 2022. In the first six months of 2022, Kansas City's Information and Communication Department gave good advice to the city's people's committee to enact decision number 08 and plan number 03 that serve the timely management of the city's people's committee. In six months, the city signed cooperation with press offices to publish 2,368 pieces of news and reports on Kanto City. Regarding the post operation, the Information and Communication Department advised the City People's Committee to instruct post businesses to put farming households into electronic commercial transactions. The online televised system has been perfected with tariff connection from the center to the city, district, and commune in a total of 130 locations. 98 online meetings have been held. On July 13, a ceremony to sign the strategic cooperation agreement between Vietnam Cable Television and the radio and television stations of Cần Thơ, Hậu Giang, Đồng Tháp, and Bình Dương took place in Ho Chi Minh City. VTV Cable and the radio and television stations agree to cite the comprehensive cooperation in producing supply and service products and exchanging radio and television programs to expand diverse, precise, reliable sources of information to serve public demand. As remarked by leaders of the radio and television stations, the signing of this cooperation agreement is the opportunity to increase value in position, promote the strength of the stations in the area of communication. The cooperation agreement is an important milestone that lays the foundation to help the stations improve their quality of programs in the orientation of multi-platforms and advanced production technology. On July 13th morning, Vic Football Joy Star Company and the organizing board of the national champion Seven Aside Tournament made a debut of the third season of the Seven Men Football Championship for Saigon Beer Cup 2022 in the Western region. Earlier, the tournament had officially been programmed in Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh, and Nha Trang cities. The tournament takes place in the Western region from July 17 to 18, with the presence of eight football teams from Western provinces. This is the first season the tournament has been held in the Western region. After the preliminary round, the organizing board will choose eight teams representing the Northern, Central, Southern Highlands and Western regions for the final round to take place in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh cities. Before moving to the close, let's take a quick look at the updated weather forecast.
And that's it for this edition of Kenty News. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentotv.bn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time. Thank you.